Hey there guys, what is up? The Android Miner here and welcome back to another episode of the Survival Let's Play. Hopefully you guys will enjoy today's episode. Today we are going to be working on some redstone stuff and also some other things. Obviously we always do more than one thing in every single episode so if you do enjoy today's video go ahead and smash a like down below and subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me if you could do that. But now, let's go ahead and get into episode 16 of the Survival Let's Play. So before we do anything, as you guys can see, I have removed every single torch from this area and this area too. And I've replaced it with some glowstone. Now, I know that these ones on the side kind of look a little bit weird. But I'm going to keep them there anyway. It's just extra lighting. It looks better than having torches just spammed everywhere. And I've also added in a painting right here because it was just very, very plain. And I don't really know what to do with this area. So I've kind of just left it as it is and just kept things in it. I don't know what to do with it though. But to start off this episode, we are going to be working on the nether room, which is right up here. You can probably actually hear me nether portal. So let's go ahead and work on that. I'm going to design it today. I haven't come up with any kind of design, so we're just going to do it straight off the top of our heads and see if we can come up with a good design. And it's actually nighttime right now. Okay. Doesn't matter because we're outside. So to be honest with you, I did actually want to turn this into a portal that I can turn on and that I can turn off. But to do that, to make it really compact and really redstone-y, I'm going to need a slime piston. And I don't have any slime because we haven't found any slime chunks yet and we also haven't found any swamps yet. So probably after this episode, if I can be bothered to, I'm probably going to try my hardest to search around and try and find myself a swamp so that I can get myself a sticky piston because I really want to turn this into a on-off thing because it's kind of just annoying that it isn't like that right now. First things first, we're going to replace the flooring. Now I only actually do have 20 blocks left, 20 spruce blocks, and that's what I need for the floor, but we should be okay. We can just put in as much of it as we can. I didn't mean to break that block right there. We're also going to be putting in some of the never act too, just to give it a more of a never kind of look. So maybe we'll have enough. I don't actually really know. So Let's go ahead and just remove all of this. There's no point in removing the ones underneath here because you're not going to be able to see them anyway. And then I'll just place in as many of these as I can. And then we will go around and place in the never rack. I mean, I could have the floor go down one and have this as the floor, but then there's glowstone and stuff, so it's kind of annoying. And we ran out already. Okay, let me go ahead and just place in some never rack into random spots and see where I can remove this. Okay, we're definitely going to need some more. I don't really know where to put the never rack, to be honest with you. I have no clue whatsoever. Maybe we'll do a little bit right here, like so. Not like that. Remove you. And then we have two more pieces. We could put something like that. I don't know. I will go ahead and knock down some more spruce later on, probably within this episode, if I remember. But just imagine that all this here is filled with spruce. It's kind of annoying me that it's not right now, but it'll be okay. It'll be all good. We don't have to worry about it. And right now I'm just going to do whatever comes to my mind. I have no ideas for this. I haven't planned this out. Normally I do actually plan things out before I do it um, on camera, but this time I I just decided not to. I decided just to go with whatever comes to my mind. And I think, I think, um, do I want to put these at the bottom like this? I don't actually know. I don't actually know. All right, there we go, guys. This is what I came up with. Let me know. Do you like it? It's just like a, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just a fancy entrance, I guess you would call it. I'll probably end up replacing the walls or something. I don't know yet, but for now, we're just going to leave the entrance like this. And we are going to use our axe and collect ourselves some more spruce wood because we did run out, as you guys saw. And we do need to get some more of that. So we're going to go right over here to the spruce forest to get what we need. And while I'm down here, I guess I can tell you guys and kind of show you the XP farm. I replaced all of the walls. Basically, I'll go ahead and show you what I mean by that. But all of the walls were not 
like made out of what they needed to be made out of and I was too lazy to do it within the episode and I was like I'll do it next episode and I forgot to show you last episode but I have done that so I can actually show you and it's a good thing that we brought glowstone with us because I actually need it so this is actually a good thing that we're coming down here you guys can see I need to put glowstone right over here just like that and then down here I have done all of this there's nothing else to show you down there it's just the same as it was last time just I have done all of that but here we are let's get some spruce and what do I actually have in here this is just a bunch of stuff oh I actually have some iron ore in here I can take that with me and the rest of it can just stay honestly I don't really need that we just came here to get some spruce wood as you can see there's a lot of trees that have gone that's because I have been needing spruce wood quite a lot. But let's go ahead and just get a few trees and then we can head on back and finish the floor in the room. There we go. We have the wood that we need. And there we go. We probably actually do. Now that I've done that, I can tell that I need to have some more never rack in certain places. Just to make it look more nevery. Why did I place that? I have no clue. Um, we can have that there. Where else do we want some? Probably like a bit over here. I don't know. I don't want to go too overboard, but then I don't want to have not enough. Maybe something like that. Does that look okay? I don't know. Maybe we could do it on the walls too, but the only thing is, this leads to the outside. So I don't know about that. I honestly don't really know. Maybe I could just do something. I don't know. The roof kind of looks weird, but for now, at least we've got this bit done. That is what I wanted to do. We're not going to go into the nether today because we have no need to do that, but there we have that. At least we've got that done. And now we're going to move on to the redstone build that I want to do today. And I think it's raining. Yep. Yep, it's raining. So what we are going to do now is we are going to build our very first redstone contraption. And it's going to be an automatic chicken farm. You've probably already seen it in the thumbnail and the title. But that is what we are going to be doing. I need to go ahead and make myself a pen and put some chickens into it. Because I am going to need a lot of chickens so before we build this redstone contraption, I need to go ahead and find myself a load of chickens and probably breed them. So over here, just like right here, I think I'm just going to make a temporary pen to put some chickens into because I really, really do need a lot of them. And then we're going to have to go ahead and find some, of course. So this has been built really badly. There we go. Move this and we can keep it open for now because we're not going to need the gate actually no we'll just put the gate there and now we have some seeds and we're gonna find some chickens and then we'll breed those chickens and hopefully hopefully we'll have enough i mean probably after this episode after i record it i'm probably gonna find some more chickens and put them into the chicken farm once it is built but let's go ahead and find some chickens hopefully we can actually find at, at least at least two so we can breed them oh there's one over here okay Come on, chicken, we need some more of you. Oh, there's actually egg as well. That's good. We can take the egg. Oh, there's another chicken there. Okay, okay. I just saw, oh, there's more eggs. Okay, let's get these eggs because we do need those as well. So we have one chicken right now. I saw another one over this little hill bit right here. Where are you? There you are. I see you. Come on, buddy. Keep following me. And you, come on, come on. I have some nice, lovely seeds for you. You know that you want them. Come on. Okay, they're now both following me. It would be good if we could find some more. The more the merrier, you know. The more the merrier, because then the more efficient the chicken farm will be. But it's okay. If we only have two, then we only have two. But I'm going to try and find some more. So I'll be back with you guys when I either find some more or when I just give up trying to find them. Okay then, guys. Here we go. We have got ourselves some chickens right here. They have been laying eggs for me. Let me go ahead and see if I can get this one from out here. Oh, I do. I got five eggs now. We need to just let them breed and hopefully they're going to make more eggs. Not breed. I mean, we need to let them lay their eggs. They don't have to breed to lay eggs. Whatever. I don't really know what I'm saying right now, but there we go. We have those. We are now going to work on the chicken farm. Now, I don't have any space to put this inside my house. So for now, I'm going to build it outside my house. And then eventually we're probably going to expand our house and do more rooms and stuff. But for now, I'm just going to build it right over here because I literally have no other place to put this, to be honest. Um, I mean, maybe not right next to my house. Maybe I could put it next to the chickens. 
I really don't know. I just don't want it to look out of place wherever I put it. But to be honest, wherever I put it, it's just going to look out of place. So I guess we're just going to build it here. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to go ahead and build it right here. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to try my hardest to do this step by step so that you guys can see what it is that I'm doing. But this is not my own design. I'm not good with redstone. I did watch a tutorial prior to this episode. So I will try my hardest to like go step by step so you guys can see what I'm doing but go ahead and put a chest down and put a hopper running into that chest and then on top of this hopper go ahead and place yourself any kind of slab make sure you are crouching by the way otherwise it just won't do that and then once you've done that go ahead and block up three times on each side just like so and then you are going to need some glass and put it just like here I mean you don't have to do the exact same design that I'm doing but the redstone and hoppers and stuff have to be the same because otherwise the design is just not going to work but go ahead and do this little thing right here as you can see not very hard go ahead and copy that and then once you've done that go ahead and place a block right here and then place on top of that a dispenser no not that way not like that guys you want to go ahead and place it so that it's facing just like that just like that okay where did my other one go oh it's right there okay let me just block myself up and then go ahead and crouch and place the other one on top of that and then you can just break this block you can keep this block here you don't have to but you might as well keep it there I can hear a skeleton where are you buddy I don't know where it is but okay and then now you want to go ahead and get yourself your hoppers and go ahead and crouch and place one going into that dispenser and then go ahead and build yourself up just like so. Crouch and place one on top of that one like so. Go ahead and crouch again, make sure you're still crouched. Place a hopper going out of this hopper and then do one going out of that hopper. So that one would be like that, it just goes like that. Hopefully you guys can follow what I'm showing you. This is what you need. Make sure you've done that. That is basically like the first few steps. And now you want to go ahead and just do this. Put a comparator like so and then put a repeater after that. And then you want to come over here and you want to place two more blocks like this. You want to have a comparator going like this. Make sure you tick it so that this redstone like torch is on. I think it's a torch. I don't really know. But make sure that that red light is on. Then go ahead and get three of these and go like this. And then go ahead and get yourself your last repeater and place it going into this dispenser right here. And that is all of the redstone, believe it or not. That is literally all of the redstone. Now the only thing you need to do is you can patch up this area right here. And then go around this way and patch up this area as well. You don't have to do this, but you have to do like this part here. Otherwise the chickens are going to escape. But you don't have to like patch up all the areas if you don't want to. I'm going to leave mine open like it is right now because it's not going to stay here. It's only going to be kind of like temporary. So I'm just going to keep it open as it is. And now that's basically it. Go ahead and get yourself a lava bucket, which I actually haven't got. So let me go ahead and get a lava bucket and then... I'll show you the last step. I just came down here to get a bucket to get lava and there was a skeleton and a spider. So it seems like this is not lit up enough. So I'm just going to have to place down some torches on the floor until I figure out how to make this brighter without using torches. Probably just going to have to place in way more glowstone. That's kind of annoying, you know, kind of annoying. It hasn't happened until just now. So I'm guessing that it's just too dark down here so yeah now i'll go ahead and get the lava bucket all right here we go we got the lava so this lava wants to go into the top dispenser so not this one but this one the very very top one go ahead and place your lava into there and now i can just show you the last steps to do so let me go ahead and build my way up you want to be just over here and now basically what you want to do is go ahead and just place a block like in the middle this is going to be where all the chickens stand Go ahead and do that. I probably shouldn't have used glass because I can't get it back. But go ahead and just do this. I'm using glass so that I'm able to see the chickens. Go ahead and do that and then place a block on top of here so that the chickens can't like escape from there. And yeah, that's basically everything. Um, apart from go ahead and place a carpet on top of where the chickens are going to be stood. And that is basically everything. I know right now it looks ugly, but... Just deal with it, okay? This is the redstone behind it. You guys are most likely going to build it inside your house. So all this stuff will be hidden inside a wall. But for me, I have no space for that. So I decided to just build it outside of my house. So now I need chickens. Now I could go ahead and just make some stairs and lead loads of chickens up into here. But the easiest way is kind of just using eggs, throwing them into there and hoping that they turn into baby chickens. Um... But I don't know. I think I might just make some steps and then leave chickens up there so 
Just give me a sec, guys, and I will do that. So I've made some steps. Hopefully, that'll be good enough. I'm just going to open this up. I'm just going to let out all these chickens that I have. This is not enough, really. Actually, I should probably breed them. Hang on. Don't get out. Don't get out. I'm going to breed them quickly so that I have a load more of them because that's not going to make the farm very efficient. You need to have so many of them to make the farm efficient. Otherwise, you're just not going to get a lot of chicken and stuff. So let me go ahead and get some more... Of these, I should have, yeah, I have a lot of them. Okay, I'll go ahead and just bring two stacks. I'm probably not going to need that many at all. But there we go. We'll go ahead and just take these stacks. We'll go ahead and breed up the chickens. And then we shall grow up the baby chickens. And then leave them all into the top of here. Which I'll show you guys how to do. It's very easy. Just make some steps going up. It'll be so, so easy for you guys. So let me go ahead and get my way into here. Hopefully these chickens don't escape. Escape, and we'll go ahead and grow you up right here. There we go. And you guys breed, grow you up. You breed, uh, you and you, and you and you. There we go. And then we'll just grow up every single one of these baby chickens and then breed the ones that can be bred mob. <laughs> I'll be back with you guys once I've done this because it might be a little bit tedious for you to watch. There we go, we now have a load more chickens. I probably still should get more of them, but it'd be okay. We'll go ahead and lead these up here. They should follow me, and then they will drop into here. Hopefully, hopefully they follow me. Oh, I just, I wasn't meant to do that. Okay, so if I stand here, they should, they should start to drop in. Yes, okay, okay, it, it's working. Some of them have like gone away from me, but it is working, it is working. So, let me just see how many have we got. We've got so many. Oh, okay, so one of them already laid an egg. I will explain how this works in a second, guys, once I have all of these dudes and girls and whatever you want to call them into here. One of them's ran away. It doesn't really matter. Come on, all of you. Any more? Okay, there's one more. One more. Come on, you're the last one. And come on. Come on, there we go, there we go. And then you can go ahead and just block that up. You don't have to, really. But there we go. So the way that this works, guys, is these adult chickens will lay eggs. Once they lay an egg, it will go into the hoppers and go around here and go down into this dispenser right at the bottom. And then the dispenser will shoot the egg out. And if there's a baby chicken inside of the egg, it will sit in here. And basically, every time an egg is shot out, lava will dispense. But the lava will only kill chickens that have grown up. So if there's any baby chickens sat inside of here, they will not die if lava goes above them. Only adult chickens will die from this. I will try and show you guys how it works. Let me go ahead and build my way up. I know that I'm using glass, but it doesn't really matter. Then let me just break this. And if I go ahead and drop these eggs into here, this they will start to dispense. And as you can see, every time an egg dispense... That happens. Every time an egg dispense, the larva will shoot out. And as you saw, the baby chicken didn't die. So once this baby chicken grows up and more eggs start coming through, the larva will dispense and it will basically burn the chicken and all of its stuff will land into here. Hopefully you understand how that works. If you don't, then I'm very, very sorry. I'm just bad at explaining stuff. But there we have that. I'm actually going to go ahead and place these into here just like that. We, we still only have one chicken. Oh, okay. Um, What happened? It got stuck. I don't know why. Did I break it? I think I might have broke it. But yeah, anyway, that is it, guys. That is how it works. All the eggs will go down into here. And that is just basically how it works. For some reason, the liver's like stayed on. I think it's because I put the eggs into the hopper. And I don't think it's broken. It should fix once my eggs go down. But there we have it. We now have an automatic chicken farm. It looks really weird and botchy because I have nowhere to put it right now. I will make space. Don't you guys worry. I will make space to put this somewhere else inside my house. For now, we can just go ahead and get rid of this. Here we go. Just break all of these down. And I think I actually want to go ahead and do a little bit of caving because I did find a cave when I was finding chickens. I don't know if it's a big one or what, but I want to go ahead and do a bit of caving. So I need to make some more torches and I'll probably bring my fortune pickaxe with me as well. So let me go ahead and get prepared and we'll do a little bit of caving to end off the episode. Okay guys, here is the cave. It's really not far. My house is literally just over there. It's really not far, but I found this and hopefully it's actually going to be a good cave. I don't really know. I'm kind of scared to search it because I always get lost inside of caves, but we should be good. We should be okay. Oh, this is a big cave. Oh, okay. This is actually really big. I'm glad that I actually found this because it seems to be 
pretty large. I can actually hear spiders. Maybe there's like a spider spawning in me. Probably, probably not though. So I think I'm gonna just go this way first because there's so many different routes I can go. Actually, should we go down here? I don't know. There's so many different places that I could go right now. I'm just gonna stick and go, whoa, this is huge. This is actually huge. I am gonna get lost for sure. I am gonna get so, so lost. Let me go ahead and just screenshot my coordinates in case I do get lost. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down this way. I did actually bring nearly two stacks of torches with me. I was, oh, there's a spider right here. Um, hello there, buddy. That's a spider that I could probably hear. Hello there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just go down this way, I think, and see where it takes us. I really hope I don't get lost. I probably will. This is me we're talking about. There's so many different places that I could go right now. Wait, what's underneath here? Look how big this is. This is actually huge. I'm actually going to use my fortune pickaxe on this core right here because then I'll get way more. I do have fortune free, as you guys can see. That's all I have on my pickaxe right now. But let's go ahead and get this right here. Whoa, we're going to get so much. We're going to get so, so much coal from this. I got over a stack from that. That is insane, and there's still more of it left that, that I didn't actually get. I actually missed this bit. That is crazy. Fortune free is just so, so good. I'm going to get so much coal from doing this. So I'm going to go this way because that leads to nowhere. It just goes round in a circle. So I'm going to go this way and see where it takes us. Oh, some iron, but there's that above it. Oh, okay. Um, there's a lot of gravel. I don't want to disturb the gravel. Okay, there's a lot of it. And there's more. Oh, wait. Why am I using Fortune Free on that? You can't even get more of it. Why was I doing that? I do not know. But this looks like it goes down for quite some time. Oh, I can see light. There's probably lava down there. This is a humongous cave. This is huge. I'm probably not going to search it all today. It's just way too big. I probably should have done this as a separate episode. You know what, guys? If you want to see me do a caving episode that's solely just caving then let me know, because this is absolutely huge. I'm going to search a tiny bit more of it, but I think I'm going to leave this for another episode, and we can search the rest of it, because you can see how big this thing is. It is huge. I really want to search this whole thing in this video, but I've already been recording for 40 minutes, so the episode is going to be really long if I search this whole thing. But you guys can see it's absolutely huge. Let me go ahead and search this bit. Look, it just keeps going. It just keeps on going. You know what? I'm going to stop searching right now. If you guys want to see a caving episode next episode, the one after this, the very next episode, leave a like. Also, there'll probably be a poll that you can probably vote on as well. Go ahead and vote on it. Let me know because I really want to search this whole thing, but it's going to take probably a whole episode to do so. So please, 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 please tell me that you want to see it because I really want to do it. So I didn't really get that far because I've decided I want to do it as another episode. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, then go ahead and smash a like down below. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already. And of course, we're going to end off the episode here because like I already said, I want to do that cave in a whole different episode. Probably next episode if you guys say you want to see it. So yeah, that is going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next episode. Don't forget, stay awesome. See ya. Bye-bye.